Hi, Tom here and welcome to my new video, how to draw people in perspective with a castle and a landscape. For this drawing I use a 4B pencil to get a high tonal contrast. Any soft, dark pencil would do well. First, draw a horizontal line across the middle of your page. Now, along this line we can draw some heads, some simple oval shapes getting smaller as they go towards the right. Now these just need to be loose sketches. We don't need to add any detail at all. Now we can add some bodies to these heads. Again, just a loose, sketchy sort of line, showing the general impression of a person without adding any detail. Make sure the heads are not too big for the bodies. For this first person on the left, I'll try and make them look like they're walking along. Because it's just a sketch, I'll leave multiple lines to give an impression rather than a fixed, clear outline of a person. So all of these people can be drawn quite simply at this early stage of this drawing. Now we can add a curved causeway for the people to be standing on. So for this, we can just draw two curves going towards the right, and as they go towards the right, they'll need to get closer together, particularly as they go up towards the horizontal horizon line. Now I could add a child here in the foreground on the left. Now as a child is obviously a shorter person, their head will be below the horizontal line where the adults are standing. I could add another child here in the middle distance and a few more adults too. She could have her hair tied up. Next, we can erase some of the lines that we no longer need. I still want to keep this drawing a sketch, but I need to make the lines a bit darker and a bit more considered. So that basically later on, I want to make these figures in tone and shadow. So I need a bit of a more defined outline before I get to that stage. So when drawing, I try to think of the movement and weight of the people rather than any detail, because it's going to be a tonal drawing in the end. We could darken the curved lines of the causeway now. And on the right, we can add another thin curve. And we can add an island hill on the right in the far distance. This drawing is based on St Michael's Mount in Cornwall in the UK. Now we can add a castle on top of the hill. And now for this I can keep the vertical lines vertical and the gentle diagonal line for all the tops of the walls on the left. And then another similar diagonal line for all the, the tops of the walls of the castle on the right. This is because we're looking up at the castle. So as they go left and right, they'll be going away from us. And therefore, that's why we've got a diagonal. Once we've got the basic structure of the castle, we can add the crenellations, the up and down bits, on the top of the walls of the castle. I think I'll add an outer wall along the base of the island as well, and a long building on the left. The base of the actual castle will be uneven, as it's on a steep hill, so we can put various lines to show where parts of the castle finish at different places. We can also continue the path winding its way up to the top of the castle. 
Now in the foreground at the front we can add some rocks and pools of water either side of the causeway. The causeway is just a raised sort of walkway. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it and find it useful for your own drawings. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel Circle Line Art School to see all of my videos. I post a new video every Saturday. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my website circlelineartschool.com for more information on Circle Line Art School. Thank you again and see you next time.